What's up? What's up? It's me, Sean K of Heli Direct. Of course, you know that the exciting new XL Power Nimbus 550 is, is out now. It's for pre-order. Uh, you can go ahead and hit that link down there if you want to secure your kit. We are getting kits. However, you know how the hobby world is. They could be gone for a while, you know, and you have to wait for the second batch and then you see all your friends flying it and you're like, oh my God, I want one. But you can't because you didn't pre-order. So, make sure you hit the link below. Get your Nimbus 550 um, now by XL Power. So, what I wanted to do is I'm going to be doing a build video for you guys so you know what to expect when you get your kit. Um, but I also wanted to talk about some of the electronics I'm going to be putting in this bird. Um, a lot of you know that I am a fan of Futaba. Uh, you probably know that by now if you've seen any of my posts. But I want to run down the electronics with you. I'm going to be using mini servos. This kit comes in two different versions. You can have mini servos or you can have the standard version. I wanted to go with uh, the minis only because I want to save weight and I want to make this the lightest 550 out. Um, there's a couple other 550s or between 550 and 600 size uh, kits out there, uh, but I'm hearing that this one uh, is the lightest. Um, it is not as light as the V1 550, but I hear it, uh, it feels very light in the air. So I'll be flying it, all that stuff, so I'll give you a report on that. However, let's go down the list. I wanted to try these servos out, this B BLS uh, 173 SVs. Um, why? Because you don't really hear much about them. Um, uh, Futaba has these servos over in Japan, and I think in Japan they don't really run 550 sizes. I think uh, it's not really a big market over there. So I said, what the heck, you know, um, I called uh, Ben Miner. Uh, he's had good luck with them. So I said, you know what, I'm going to try these servos in the... Uh, in the Nimbus. Um, they're fully programmable, um, high voltage, and they're, they're in the standard of all the uh, Futaba servos. So we're going to try these on cycling. You know, I'm going to go with my tried and true because I know it works is the BLS 276 SV on the tail. This is Futaba's uh, premier uh, tail servo. Um, I've had really good luck with it. Uh, never had uh, anything weird happen. Um, when you pair this servo with the with the 760, let's see. Yeah, when you pair the 760 with this servo, uh, it's plug and play. It just works, it holds. I don't care what kind of maneuver you put it in, it just works. It's consistent, both pirouetting left and right. The start and stop of the pirouette is flawless. So if you're gonna run the 760R, uh, you can run it with uh, uh, other tail rotor servos. However, this is the Kobe and Shaq. This is the Michael Jordan and Pippen. This is the whoever else you want to put in there. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be running for my gyro and my tail rotor servo. So the reason why I chose Contronic for my uh, ESC is because you don't hear, well, you hear more guys flying them in FAI, FA3, uh, F3C uh, disciplines. A couple other guys are flying them in 3D machines and uh, I hear they're really top tier. Um, so I wanted to give this, uh, the Contronic, uh, oh man, here we go with this game. Um, Cali Calibre, Cali Cali Calibre, 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 I think so. Someone told me and I had it locked in and then I hadn't said it in like a couple weeks. So now I'm like, uh, back to square one. So, um, yeah, so this is full telemetry, um, set up. Uh, these things are bulletproof I hear um, pretty much I've been hearing guys been running the same ESC for like 20 years and you know they're just like they just work um, so I wanted to try this one out um, but I felt like I hadn't really heard much of their motors that are paired with the ESC what I've been hearing is that the Contronic ESC's paired with their uh, uh, pyro motors as you can see here actually I'm gonna open this up Jeez. that is nice Oof, man, okay. Feels beefy. This is their competition level motor. So uh, this, this is what we're gonna be running in the new Nimbus 550. Also, I've also heard that when you pair their motors with their ESCs, they're like incredibly efficient, which means you're gonna get your power, you're gonna get their, your head speed, um, but also it, it the, the pairing of both uh, 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 give you longer flight times, 
um, and they talk really well. So, you know, the timing and all those issues and stuff you go through, you won't have to deal with that. So there you have it. I'm going to have my Calibre, uh, AKA Hummingbird. I'm going to have my Pyro 650-103 competition. I'm going to have my Futaba 760. I'm going to have my BLS 276 SV and I'm going to have my BLS 173 SVs on cycling. So it's about that time to get the kit here. Uh, it should be on its way, I believe. I don't know, or soon. But here's what I'm running. So just wanna let you guys know that. I appreciate you, thank you. Also, get one of these pit mats. These things are crazy. Uh, as you can see, the it doesn't come off. It's not like uh, cheap paint or whatever. It's like, I don't know what this is. Uh, Jason Russell can tell you, he, he, knows, he knows about this stuff. But it feels nice, it's uh, and I think we're coming with a different size, so, but uh, it's more square-like. Um, we're gonna run another run, I believe, of more rectangular. So some of the guys with, you know, longer, longer uh, rectangular tables, it can cover more of their surface. So, sorry I'm babbling, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was up and what we're working with with this new Nimbus 550. All right, have fun, stay safe, stay out the dirt, but if you do go in, Kelly Direct's got your back. Booyah!